In the modern age of computing and technology, many will be surprised at what a $500 budget can get you. Long gone are the days of console domination. You can now get a PC for under $500. That is now possible with PCGamerBuild.com. Stick around. We will show you how. You might hear first-time custom PC builders can find the entire process a little intimidating. It's okay though, we've all lived through those head-scratching days. That's why we've created this easy-to-follow guide to the best gaming PC for under $500. It will ensure you have all the tools you need to create the perfect gaming rig for your needs. Furthermore, with this affordable build, you'll be able to enjoy a wide selection of games without breaking the bank. This video recommends you build a decent gaming PC for under $500. All components links are in the description, do check them out after the video. If you are new to our YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button, so never miss any updates from us. Before I start, I recommend taking a notepad and pencil with you, you'll definitely need to note my guidelines. Okay, let's start building your unique gaming PC. So, first of all start from a case. I would get in by name of the Masterbox Q300L. It is an attractive small case that supports the Micro ADX and Mini IDX format. Magnetic dust filters on the front and top of the Q300L case are easy to remove and clean. You can install two fans up to 140 mm and a water cooling radiator up to 240 mm on the front of the housing. Not only this, you can place one fan or radiator up to 120 mm on the back. At the top, you can install two 120 mm fans. The open design of the perforated front, the top, and the bottom guarantee excellent thermal performance potential. Overall, you get a compact and likable gaming design, quality build, and enough space to install standard size components for a reasonable price. Second, the motherboard. Asus Supreme B450 M A2 is a fantastic 4M motherboard for this price. Loaded with many possibilities and a likable design and support for Ryzen 5000 series processors. Besides, it has a fast PCIe Generation 3 4X interface for M2 NVMes SD. You need to do a BIOS update to support the latest Ryzen 5 5000 series processors. If you aren't sure how to do this, ask your dealer, service technician, or friend who understands to do it for you. You won't go wrong with this motherboard, where you can overclock the CPU without problems. Just note that for any OC, you need to have a severe aftermarket CPU cooler. On third number, CPU processor. If you are looking for a CPU with integrated graphics that can give its most for gaming above 60 frames per second at low resolutions, the Ryzen 5 5600G represents the perfect balance of price and performance. WMD 5600G Ryzen is suitable for gaming PC in 720p and 1080p with a reasonable level of detail, depending on the game bitrate. Check out this link. Here are the graphs to test integrated graphics in various games. A Dell chips have UHD 630 or UHD 750 graphics in this price range, but it's nowhere near the performance offered by the Ryzen 9 GP. Also, please pay attention to the RAM speed because it affects the FPS in games, especially with an integrated graphics card. On number 4, RAM. Although, choosing RAM may seem easy, it can give you a headache if you make the wrong choice. You should know that inserting only one memory module in a dual-channel memory controller halves the memory bandwidth, especially detrimental for integrated graphics whose architecture and speed mainly depend on system memory RAM. We choose a memory that runs at 3200 MHC. This memory speed is good for integrated graphics and CPU to overclock if you wanted to play with that option to give more frames per second in games. Always take memory modules from the same manufacturer at the same speed for compatibility and more stable system operation. On number 5. Power Supply Unit PSU We don't need an overpriced and robust power supply for this budget gaming configuration, especially since there's currently no discrete graphics card. However, if you don't care when choosing a PSU, you can have burned out components and run out of money. PSU with 600 watts is enough to power this PC but must meet the following criteria. First, satisfactory quality. Second, 80 plus certificates and at least a three-year warranty. Third, 
If you install a discrete graphics card, you will have enough power at your disposal. On number 6. Storage Since NVMe SSDs are much faster to run than traditional SATA SSDs, always look to buy an NVMe SSD, and then you can buy HDD later for personal data storage. The hard disk drive, like slower media, can store your data, movies, and music. NVMe SSD 293 with 500 gigabytes capacity is excellent for comfortable work and will be enough in this price range. You can install a few of your favorite games, but this is a good start. When you have more money, add an NVMe with more capacity. Number 7. Now let's talk about your display monitor. The good display monitor is the main and very compulsory item to keep retention of a gamer to play long time excitedly. So for a budget less than $200, I recommend Display Model OCG 2490X 24 inches. This is a really unique and very affordable 24-inch monitor display you can purchase from Amazon for your gaming setup and enjoy the 24-inch display. Its resolution is 1920x1080 and works at a 144 refresh rate. So, if you are with limited budget, don't miss it. And on number 8, HAVID Wired Mechanical Gaming Keyboard Mouse Headset Combo Kit. Who professional gamer doesn't like to have an RGB color mechanical keyboard mouse with wrist rest and a decent headset with great build mic quality? So in $500 list, we included a HAVID Combo Pack that's perfect suit of your gaming setup. Lighting effects come with 14 predefined settings on the keyboard and 7 on the mouse. The headphones have also implemented RGB lighting, which will complete the atmosphere. Given the relatively low price of this kit, one should not be too critical. If a small budget limits you, it's worth taking. You get a rounded offer that's hard to resist, especially for this money. You can't ask for more. We have listed it in our description to check them out. So guys, this was for today. We hope you enjoyed our video and like our suggestion to make ready a gaming system within $500 budget. If you are new to this channel, Make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so never miss incredible stuff. Thank you for being with us.